Hey guys, what's going on? Dave from Desert Tactical here. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the guys over at AT3 Tactical sent another optic to the channel, or an LPVO in this case, for us to check out. This time around, we're going to be looking at the AT3 Tactical Redtail 126x24 second focal plane LPVO. Let's get this started. All right, I guess a quick unboxing here because I know that unboxings can be a little bit boring. Let's open it up and see what we get inside. Right off the bat here, we have the manual, single page, nothing on the back, keeping it simple. I like that. Here we have the LPVO, nicely protected in foam and in a plastic bag. The 30 millimeter cantilever mount and flip up lens covers are included. Down here we have a cleaning cloth and inside it we have the screw on throw lever and some tools for install and adjustment. And down here we have an extra CR2032 battery. One of them is already installed on the LPVO. So let's clean up a little, get this out of the way and go over the specs of the Redtail 1 to 6 by 24 LPVO. Alrighty, ladies and gents, quick round on the specs of the LPVO. Made from 6063 T6 aluminum in a 1 to 6 by 24 second focal plane, which means the reticle will stay the same size regardless of the magnification. Comes in with a BDC reticle, and I'll post a picture of the reticle right here, rated to 600 yards. 11 brightness settings in red, 30 millimeter tube, and the turrets are lockable and resettable. To make your adjustment, Pull up to unlock, make your adjustment, and push back down to lock the turret back in. Once you've acquired your desired zero, you can reset the turret to zero on that mark right there by removing that screw, resetting the turret on that mark, reinstall the screw, and you're good to go. Half MOA click value, and the clicks are audible and tactile. A Little bit of mushiness, but not too bad. Eye relief is 3.4 to 5.1 inches depending on magnification. Your magnification ring is right here, nice and smooth, not too stiff. And your throw lever will go right there if you wish to use it. Diopter right here to sharpen the image to your eyeball. IPX6 waterproof rated and A23 Tactical offers a transferable lifetime warranty on this LPVO. Guys, so I've leveled and mounted the AT3 Tactical Redtail LPVO on my Delton Sierra 316L upper, which is sitting on my AT3 Tactical Air 15 lower build video on this build already on the channel. So I did use Blue Thread Locker on the scope ring screws and torque to 15 inch pounds as recommended by the manual. Now let's go to the range, zero this bad boy, and take some shots at various distances. See you guys out there. Guys, out of the range with the AT3 Tactical Redtail LPVO. Now the reticle is etched on the glass, so not using any illumination at all, but we'll most definitely try that out as well. All right, 50 yards out, just to see where it's at. Shooting 55 grain PMC, three rounds, let's go. One more. Let's check it out. All righty guys, so out of the box, it's printing very low and to the left there. So gotta bring it up and to the right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zero at 50 off camera, then show you the 50 yard zero, then take it out to 100 and zero at 100 yards. Let's do this. All right guys, got it dialed in at 50. This is my first three shot group right there, low and to the left. My second three shot group is right here. And my third, is dead center right there. I'll call that zero at 50. Now let's go to 100 and see how it prints there. All right, 100 yards out. Let's see where it prints on paper with that 50 yard zero. Then I'll dial in at 100. All right, three shots. One more. Let's check it out. All right, so at 100 with a 50 yard zero, one, two, three. So I'm gonna bring it down a little and a couple clicks to the left and see how it does there. All right, guys, so I kinda, sorta got it dialed in at 
100 yards one two three now keep in mind this is regular range 55 grain pmc fmj's nothing special but let's do something pretty cool here on this bottom left hand corner target i'm going to shoot aac 62 grain fmj's and on the bottom right i'm going to shoot aac match grade otm 77 grain ammo and see how that does okay guys with 62 grain aac that's my group at 100 yards and with 77 grain otm that is my group right there these two pretty close together nice all right guys so i relocated to be able to stretch it out to 200 yards let's bring some steel at 100 see how we do i am at max magnification All right, let's take some shots at 200 yards. Again, 55 grain PMC, nothing special. On a nine by 18 steel silhouette, you'll be able to hear the ting if I connect. All right, let's go. Impact. Impact, one more. All right, so now I'm gonna try the illumination on the LPVO. I'm on city number 11, see how it does. I'm gonna shoot the 12 by 18 steel target at 100 yards. So right off the bat, I can tell it's not daylight bright. All right, three shots, 100 yards. Impact, hit, hit. All right, let's try a single shot at 200 yards with the max illumination again setting number 11 on a 9 by 12 steel silhouette 200 yards let's see if we can connect hit all right guys likes and dislikes on the 83 tactical red tail lpbo i like that it is a true single power optic when you're at 1x there's no difference between your natural eyesight and the single power magnification on the optic so pretty cool that there is no distortion between both you can use it as a red dot i also like that the glass is nice and clear no distortion or at least i don't notice any distortion i also like that the magnification ring is nice and smooth not too stiff or not too loose really like that and also like that it comes as a complete setup ready to throw on your rifle and hit the range as i did today dislikes i really don't like these star shaped pointy screw heads to tighten down the cantilever mount on the pick rail I don't know why they did that they could have done a quick release or regular allen key heads i don't know but pretty uncomfortable to tighten down by hand they do have a hole to insert an allen wrench and tighten down i highly recommend to do that if you get one of these uh cantilever mounts i dislike that it comes in at about 300 dollars, so it's really competing with you know the sig msr or the primary arms slx but it is a budget scope coming in at 300 beans so do i recommend this lpvo yes yes i do you guys it's a nice budget lpvo that works just fine so far so good with the 83 tactical red tail 126 by 24 second focal plane lpvo that is it you guys wrapping it up thank you guys for watching huge shout out and thank you to 83 tactical for sending out the lpvo for us to test out don't forget to like drop a comment and subscribe if you haven't catch you guys next time peace